Hey hockey fans, welcome back to the Oilers Fanatic. Today, we continue the Pacific Division Comparison Series, taking a look at the Oilers' seven Pacific Division rivals and seeing how the goaltending, top four defensemen, and top six forwards on each team compare to the Oilers. Once I have gone through all seven teams, I'll give my verdict on how the standings will look and where I think the Oilers will finish at the end of the regular season. In our first installment, we covered the Vancouver Canucks. We continue our series with a look at the Los Angeles Kings. Last season, the Kings failed to qualify for the playoffs. The Kings have been going through a rebuilding process, but look poised to take a step forward this season. Some key additions they made over the summer include Philip Deneau, Victor Arvidsson, and Alex Edler. Let's begin by comparing the goaltenders. Mike Smith versus Cal Peterson. Mike Smith finished last year with a goals against average of 2.31 and a save percentage of 923. Cal Peterson finished last year with a goals against average of 2.89 and a save percentage of 911. Smith was the stronger goaltender overall, but Peterson has age on his side as he will turn 27 this season. There is more upside going forward to Peterson, and I have to give him the edge. Miko Koskinen versus Jonathan Quick. Miko Koskinen finished last year with a goals against average of 3.17 and a save percentage of 899. Jonathan Quick finished last year with a goals against average of 2.86 and a save percentage of 898. Quick had the better goals against average, and their save percentage was nearly identical. LA should be a better team this year, so Quick's n numbers are bound to improve. Koskinen is in a contract year, so he will be playing for a job going forward. Will we see a resurgence from him? The Oilers hope so, but his history is spotty. I'm going to call this one a draw. Overall, I give the edge to the LA Kings. Let's move on to the defense. We are going to look at the top four D-men for each team. Darnell Nurse versus Mikey Anderson. Anderson is a prospect, and Nurse emerged as a top-pairing D-man last season. For this year, the edge goes to Nurse. Tyson Berry versus Drew Doughty. Berry provides offense at a higher rate, but there is no doubt Doughty is the better proven overall defenseman. The edge goes to Doughty. Duncan Keith versus Alex Edler. Both strong defensemen over their careers, but Keith is clearly the more accomplished. They are both aging D-men who could see a further decline, but for this year, I still give the edge to Keith. Cody Ceci versus Sean Walker. Their seasons last year were nearly identical points-wise. Ceci had 17, Walker hit 18, but Ceci finished with a plus 18, and Walker was a minus 13. Based on last season, I'm giving the edge to CC. By a score of 3-1, to one, I give the overall edge to the Oilers. I'll now compare the projected top six forwards for each team. I'm placing Zach Cassian in the top six, based on him being signed, his current salary, and speculation he will be given an opportunity there. It can very easily end up being Kyler Yamamoto, or another right winger, in that slot. Zach Hyman versus Alex Iafalo. Hyman and Iafalo are both a close match, but Hyman will have the benefit of playing alongside Connor. His numbers should be the highest of his career. I'll give the edge to Hyman. Ryan Nugent Hopkins versus Adrian Kempe. Again, another close match, but I think Nuge will be looking for a strong comeback season. If Nuge, Dry, and Yamo end up back together and can find that magic once again, Nuge could be in for a big year, and today I give him the edge. Connor McDavid versus Anze Kopitar. Kopitar has had an amazing career and is a Stanley Cup champion, but today it's not close between him and Connor. With Hyman on his left side, we are likely to see the highest point total of Connor's career so far. Connor gets the edge. Leon Dreisaitl versus Philip Deneau. After a run to the Stanley Cup final, Deneau was getting a shot higher up in the lineup in L.A. In comparison to Leon, Deneau is better in the faceoff circle and has a strong two-way game. But head-to-head, -head, Leon still takes the edge as an elite center. Yessi Pugliarvi versus Victor Arvidsson. This one is another close one, but I have to give the edge to Arvidsson for his experience 
and consistent performance. If Yessi had another strong season, he could pull ahead. For now, the edge to Arvidsson. Zach Cassian versus Dustin Brown. Cassian had a short year last season and dismal point totals, so compared to anyone, he won't look great. Brown is coming off another solid season and takes the edge. Here's hoping Cassian can have a comeback year. By a score of 4-2, to two, I give the Oilers the edge at forward. The final tally? Goaltending goes to Los Angeles. Defense and forwards goes to Edmonton. The Edmonton Oilers take the edge in this matchup. In our next installment, we will feature the Anaheim Ducks. What do you guys think? Who will finish higher in the standings? Sound off in the comments below. Enjoying the videos? Please like and subscribe for all the latest Oilers content. You've been listening to The Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.